Hello everyone, welcome back to Team Auto Trend. I'm here with the Tata Altros DCA dual clutch automatic version. Tata Motors uh, have finally launched the dual clutch automatic versions of the Tata Altros, which till date did not have any automatic transmission option to compete against the likes of the Maruti Suzuki Belenos, AMT variants, the Hyundai i20s, IVT variants, and the Honda Jazz CVT variants as well. So we are going to take a detailed test drive of this. Uh, Tata Altros DCA which has been provided by SRT Tata showroom in Coimbatore for us today. So let's go on for a detailed test drive experience. For such detailed reviews on all variants of all cars, make sure to subscribe to our channel and do support us by liking and sharing this video. Yes folks, I am right now inside the brand new Tata Altros DCA top spec XZA plus variant. So this interior we have already seen on multiple times. This is the exact same XZ plus variant of the Tata Altros which means it has all the features you need. However, the main highlight, uh, the new addition on the Tata Altros range is this automatic transmission with the gear lever. So uh, this video is about the drivability and the day-to-day -day capability of this gearbox and this car. So uh, first let's turn on the engine to judge the NVH. Well, uh, this is the exact same 1.2 litre three-cylinder naturally aspirated petrol engine. So that is that typical three-cylinder mild thrum. But apart from that, the overall NVH is pretty good. Uh, barely any vibrations are noticed in the cabin and on the pedals as well. And it is a rather quiet cabin. So uh, this gear lever, I'm going to select the drive mode. So, well, there is no multiple drive modes to be precise. On the uh, DCA variants, it does not get any drive modes. So this car does not get uh, economy mode or sports mode. Just drive, that's it. And obviously you have the manual mode to uh, tip tronic uh, yourself through the gears. So uh, turning on the engine and starting the drive. Okay, that is a decent level of uh, well creep function as standard. As you can see, I'm not pressing the accelerator and uh, the car is moving by itself. Okay, uh, well this is pretty good because it is not a really powerful engine and uh, equipped with this dual clutch automatic gearbox, it does not feel jerky at all. Okay, well uh, a slight press on the accelerator. The car feels natural, this gearbox feels natural, it does not feel uh, lacking of power or anything. It feels pretty positive. Okay. <laughs> that was a slight bit of aggressive turn. Yeah, driving in a relaxed manner, this gearbox feels pretty positive. There is decent amount of power available on tap. Even though this is a naturally aspirated engine, it feels pretty natural. So waiting at the signal over here, let me just uh, check about the specs again. So this is the 1.2 litre three-cylinder naturally aspirated petrol engine producing 113 newton meters of maximum torque. Till now this engine had only the five-speed manual gearbox, but this now is the wet clutch equipped the dual clutch uh, automatic transmission. So the transmission is very very advanced. Uh, it is not a dry clutch unit, which means that even if you are negotiating through inch by inch moving uh, tough traffic situations and even hills. Uh, this gearbox won't heat up that is what Tata Motors claims and uh, while driving also it feels very very natural so I'm yet to test the high speed capability and instant kick downs kick ups and all that uh, but still in an initial impression this feels pretty positive 
but the thing is that uh, this car does not have any drive modes anymore uh, especially on the automatic uh, variants the manual versions still get the economy drive mode on the naturally aspirated petrol engine and there is the sports mode for the i turbo variants now that the signal is done now let's try to press on okay Yeah, the response is pretty good. Well, the gearbox responds decently for this engine, and uh, that is decent level of progress as well. I am actually surprised. Pressing on again. Okay, it kicks down two gears if it wants. If you, uh, if it feels like the power is not enough. Uh, the thing is, this gearbox always keeps you in the power band. Irrespective of the speed you go, like if you press the accelerator a bit harder, it kicks down instantly. Well, almost instantaneously, which means that there is only a half second lag for downshifts. And once it downshifts, there is pretty good amount of progress. However, before the progress, there is the obvious uh, three-cylinder engine note you have to deal with, but it does not feel harsh at all. It feels kind of sporty in a nice positive feel and uh, yeah I like this okay so now uh, let's try even for the speeds while the car is easy to drive in the city with the slick and smooth shifting gearbox when you demand more power from the engine and accelerate harder this is where the three-cylinder engine is clearly audible inside the cabin so folks uh, we are getting out of the city and as you can see the road is getting even more free uh, at this time, I would like to show how this gears, gearbox responds with this engine. So, yeah, putting my foot down. That was a kick down. And that is good enough amount of power to keep you going forward. This gearbox does not have uh, the conventional sports mode if you just uh, push the gear lever to the left side or right side or something. Instead, it just gives you better response if you just put your foot down. And as you can see, that is good enough, just about adequate power to keep you moving forward and keeping up with the traffic. Now, in terms of economy, I have been driving all the uh, way till here in the city in traffic but still you can see the mileage figure over here this car still gives me around 11 to 12 km per liter which is pretty decent and uh, well the response has been great the agility is fantastic this car is absolutely fun to drive and uh, combined with this gearbox this DCA dual clutch gearbox it is even more fun like you don't have to do anything with your uh, left hand just have to relax just put your foot down and wait till the car goes yeah the gearbox response is just as you can see it gives you the power it is eager to downshift it is eager to respond it is just that with this naturally aspirated petrol engine it just takes a slight bit of time to get into the power band I, I really wish that this uh, DCA gearbox is offered on the Tata Nexon as well because combined with the 120 PS engine, turbo petrol engine, it is going to be fantastic fun to drive. So taking a U-turn over here, we are entering the LNT bypass highway. Now, yeah, so let's just try doing the 0 to 100 push on this road. So taking a standstill. So now uh, I'm going to put this car into the regular drive mode. This is not the manual mode, and I'm going to see how long does this gearbox takes us to 100 km per hour, and how does this respond? So yeah, starting. Per hour, that is pretty good amount of progress. Well, 
it takes its own time say uh, i think that the 0 to 100 is around 14 seconds 13 to 14 seconds which is okay but the gearbox especially you could have felt that the upshifts are so slick so fast so quick and smooth as well uh, but beyond 130 km per hour that is where this uh, engine does not show much progress it takes its own time to get to 140 and beyond that it's no point at all but till 130 this is a pretty good responding engine with this gearbox it is pretty good as well now uh, talking about overall high speed maneuverability and uh, response regarding the kick down and kick ups so yeah putting the foot down from 100 km per hour i am putting the foot down Yes, the downshifts happen almost instantaneously and there is good enough power available to keep you just in connect with the traffic. The steering response is perfect. As you can see, the uh, weight and the position of the steering wheel, it is just spot on, gives you maximum confidence. I just wish that this gearbox was mated to the i turbo petrol engine or even the next one's turbo petrol engine because while the gearbox is fantastic this engine is just about adequate in terms of power however the main focus of this dca tata altros is convenience and driving comfort which this gearbox provides in dividends it is just perfect for everyone women drivers male drivers everyone can be at home driving this tata altros dca because it is just natural, so natural gearbox in terms of response. Now, uh, let's just uh, try the manual mode. Yes, this car also provides a manual mode. So, I am at 80 km per hour. So, engage the manual uh, gear. So, currently I am driving in 5th gear. So, if I want to upshift, that was 6th gear. And in 6th gear, you can just relax behind the wheel with no strain, stress to the engine at all at this speed. So this gearbox can be really good. It is so good uh, that it is going to be proper fun to drive when it's mated to the turbo petrol engine. Yeah, I am actually impressed with this gearbox because Tata Motors have also done so much work that uh, they have tried to maximum match this gearbox with this non-turbo petrol engine and it works. It works. The convenience is great. There is more than enough power always available on tap. So no problem at all. In city or on highways, on high speeds, it is at home, just working comfortably. So yeah, uh, let's now get back to the city where I can show you more features. Yes folks, uh, we are right now behind the Kodishia ground of Coimbatore uh, over here and as you can see this is a terribly pathetic road over here. I am deliberately driving on this road to show you the ride quality. The Altros has always been a very, very solid and comfortable premium hatchback. The ride quality of this uh, DCA version is also exactly the same. There is barely any suspension jolting, filtering through and no suspension noise as well. And even if you want the response to be there from the engine and the gearbox, it is always there. So you don't have to worry about the stability, the handling because the vehicle always goes flat and composed irrespective of the speed. However, I would have wished that Tata Motors provided a hill hold assist and ESP traction control at least on these uh, DCA variants. Tata Motors have not provided that feature yet on the Altros. So now, uh, well, this is a sort of a free road well, with moderate traffic today uh, on the Kodishia road over here. Uh, so I am going to show you how does the cruise control function on the Altros. So first, uh, let me just get myself free. So yeah. Now I am doing around 40 km per hour. This cruise control in the Altros can be engaged from 30 km per hour itself. So currently I am setting the car in 40 km per hour speed. Now to engage the cruise control, what you have to do first is that uh, press this button over here, this uh, button on the corner and the cruise is indicated on the MID display. Now to engage the cruise, you have to press this button lower down. So currently the cruise is set at 43 km per hour and if you press that again it will show you how uh, the speed what speed are you set in and if you press these buttons over here you can increase and decrease the speed of the cruise control itself so without my accelerator input the cruise is engaged and the speed is increasing 
53-55 similarly you can go up to say 120-130 km per hour speeds as well with just cruise control so currently I am doing 65 and even while a cruise control is engaged you can basically put the car into manual mode and control the gear itself so at 65 km per hour I can put it into 5th and into 6th as well so with uh, this cruise control engaged at 65 or 70 km per hour at 6th gear you can extract maximum mileage from this engine and gearbox combination in the Tata Altros DCA yeah so this is pretty much it it is very very convenient great to handle and it is a solid solid hatchback with good comfort and uh, pretty good fun to drive as well the Tata Altros can be considered as one among the best selling premium hatchbacks in the country However, not only the new DCA gearbox, Tata Motors has also introduced this new Opera blue color on all variants of the Tata Altros. That said, apart from all that, the overall exterior appeal remains exactly the same, including the design. Now, this being the topmost XZ A Plus variant, it gets projector headlamps with LED DRLs and cornering fog lamps. These features are also available on the XZ variant as well. Moving on towards the sides, the XZ and XZ Plus variants alone get these 16-inch dual-tone machine-cut alloy wheels. However, all variants of the Tata Altros also get the fender-mounted non-LED turn indicators as standard. Similarly, all variants also get the body-colored door handles. Moving on towards the rear, the overall rear fascia also looks exactly the same like before because all variants provide the exact same split tail lamps. Only the XZ and XZ Plus variants get the rear windshield wiper washer with defogger. The only differentiation compared to the manual variants is this rather small DCA badging on the tailgate's right-hand side corner. That said, just like before, the Tata Altros XT variant onwards gets a reverse parking camera while two reverse parking sensors are available as standard. So that was all about the exterior details of this DCA Altros. Let's now get inside the car to check out the features. Well, uh, getting inside this Tata Altros XZA Plus DCA, this is actually a very familiar interior because it has basically no change at all in terms of features, materials or even the looks. Well, you get the exact same uh, triple layer dashboard with the 4 aluminum finish running across the width of the dashboard itself. You get the exact same flat bottom steering wheel with the XZ and XZ Plus variants uh, getting cruise control, automatic headlamps, automatic wipers and all those features are available over here. Now apart from that, uh, the XZ and XZ Plus variants also get driver seat height adjust as standard. This 7-inch uh, Harman touchscreen system is also standard from the XM Plus variant itself, uh, which means the XM A Plus, the entry-level variant of this DCA version of the Tata Altros, also gets this touchscreen system. Then the XTA variant onwards, the Tata Altros DCA also gets uh, this smart key access with push-button start. The key is exactly identical to what we have seen on the Tata Harrier, Nexon, the Tiago NRG and the Tigor as well. So no difference over here. And uh, starting the engine. Tilt adjustable steering wheel is standard across all variants but still Tata Motors weirdly have not provided telescopic adjustment for the steering wheel even on such a premium hatchback. Yes, taking a look from the driver's seat of the Tata Altros DCA, you can see that the overall dashboard remains exactly the same. This automatic climate control console is also exactly the same on the XZ and XZ Plus variants. However, the XZ Plus and the XZ A Plus variants alone get this express cool function, which basically boosts the cooling in the cabin. Express cooling on. And this steering wheel is also exactly the same with cruise control on the right side available on the XT variant onwards and uh, that is the steering motor audio controls from the XM plus variant itself. You get automatic headlamps, automatic wipers. There is also the smart key access with push button start over here from the XT variant. This XZ plus variant alone now gets uh, front and rear fog lamps whereas front fog lamps are also available uh, along with LED DRLs uh, from the XT variant itself. Then coming on to the center console this is the major difference when it comes to this interior because this is the automatic transmission lever however you can see that there is no s mentioned over here which means there is no sports mode and no economy mode regarding this uh, dca versions of the tata altros because usually over here the manual versions of the altros naturally aspirated petrol gets economy mode button but instead of that uh, this dca versions get a central locking and unlocking button 
so this is a change and on the right side of the steering wheel as well you cannot see any engine idle start stop feature over here that feature is also reserved only for the xt xz and xz plus variants of the naturally aspirated petrol altros now coming back to this transmission lever you can see the standard parking mode reverse neutral and drive along with a manual gear shift uh, option as well so that is all about that now only if you shift into the manual mode you get to see the gear uh, in which gear this car is driving that you can see only when the car is in the manual mode once you shift it into the normal drive mode it just shows a d then apart from that this xz plus variant alone now gets this semi digital instrument cluster with multiple theme options which can be changed using this touchscreen system itself this touchscreen system just like before offers android auto apple carplay what three words connectivity and this xz plus variant alone offers ira connect connected car features the xt variant onwards the altros also gets a reverse parking camera which is just about decent in terms of quality and clarity however this gets adaptive guidelines as standard so that is also a pretty nice feature to have and uh, this xz plus variant alone also gets eight speakers as standard whereas the lower variants get six speakers from harman however apart from that all the other storage options and everything remains exactly the same on the xz plus and the dark editions alone you get this beautiful black colored uh, beniki calico leatherette upholstery with the tri arrow design pattern so this is a standard feature on the xz plus variant alone and uh, the storage space remains exactly the same with the glove box being large and illuminated along with cooling function as well the door pads always have uh, large bottle holders along with an umbrella holder which is also standard across all variants now coming to the roof no addition features have been provided on the altros in this dca version as well because uh, no auto dimming irvm is over here even on the top spec variant you still get a manually adjustable day night irvm regarding the xz and xz plus variants of the altros only these variants also provide this central armrest which is nicely slide adjustable and it also has a decent level of storage space on the inside and uh, however these cup holders are standard across all variants uh, even on the xm plus and the xt and basically that's it about the interior features and highlights of this tata altros xza plus dca let's now check out the back seats so opening the rear doors of the tata altros you can see that all doors of the tata altros as standard on all variants have 90 degree wide opening which makes ingress and egress really very easy So getting into the rear seats you can see the amount of legroom over here this is a very spacious cabin with decent amount of legroom as well however my only grouse regarding the tata altros is that it does not provide adequate level of under thigh support with the seat squab itself being slightly shorter than expected however the overall seating posture the angle the overall comfort is pretty good for long drives itself and this uh, xz and xz plus variant onwards you also get height adjustable headrests for the rear seats and this center armrest as well so along with these adjustable headrests and the center armrest you can sit here relaxed uh, for longer drives and for any distance this is pretty good and along with these features the xz and xz plus also get these rear ac vents as standard uh, which can be adjusted individually for both the rear seat passengers and you also get a 12 volt charging socket so uh, while the overall comfort the space is pretty good the uh, under thigh support the seat squab length could have been slightly better and from over here the dashboard view is almost identical to what we have seen on every other xz plus variant of the tata altros so let's now quickly check out the boot space the tata altros has always been a very impressive premium hatchback in terms of space management so despite not being as long as the beleno it still offers 345 liters of luggage capacity which is uh, one among the best in this segment now in terms of flexibility though the tata altros does not offer 60 40 split rear seats on any variant even on the top spec variant instead it offers completely 100% flat folding rear seats only now uh, the good parts however is that you still get decent amount of features from the mid level variant itself such as this parcel tray along with the boot lamp which is located right over here and all variants also get 3 kilo back hooks on either side for your shopping bags in the boot area itself uh, now uh, regarding the spare wheel which is located under the floor even though this uh, xz and xz plus variants offer 16 inch alloy wheels you still get a 14 inch black color steel spare wheel only which can be used temporarily only up to 80 km per hour of maximum speed Uh, so that was all about the boot space of the Tata Altros XZ A+ DCA. Let's now take a look at the engine bay. 
So opening the engine bay of the Tata Altros DCA. Well, usually regarding the cars which offer dual clutch automatic transmissions, they are usually turbocharged with the petrol engine. But uh, this Altros over here, it does not offer a turbo petrol engine with the automatic gearbox combination. Instead, this over here is the 1.2 liter three cylinder naturally aspirated Revotron petrol engine producing 86 PS of maximum power and 130 newton meters of maximum torque through this six speed wet clutch equipped DCA automatic transmission sourced from punch power train. So, this uh, gearbox is super quick, super smooth, and super fast. However, the engine provides just about adequate amount of power and torque, while it could have been slightly more powerful with the turbo petrol option. Uh, which I hope Tata Motors launches really soon with the Altros and the next one as well. So let's now take a look at the pricing of the Tata Altros DCA range. So friends, that was a detailed drive review of the brand new Tata Altros dual clutch automatic equipped version. I feel that this is a more sophisticated dual clutch automatic version which is so smooth to drive, so slick and it has been properly mated with this naturally aspirated petrol engine as well. So for additional convenience and comfort, this dual clutch automatic Tata Altros is one among the best all-rounders in this premium hatchback category. So for the pricing for this dual clutch automatic equipped Tata Altros, you can see on the screen over there. Do let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this automatic transmission on the Tata Altros. Meanwhile, this is Viprajesh signing off. See you on another video. Thank you for watching.